These clouds of tiny bubbles are being produced by energy from the sun, and they may provide a solution to an ongoing challenge with solar energy. If you have been studying photovoltaics, the creation of electricity using solar cells, you are probably aware that we are still trying to find an affordable, reliable way to store the electrical energy created by solar installations. Rechargeable batteries are the storage option that is most often used, particularly for storing energy in off-grid solar systems. But batteries are expensive. They require a surprising amount of maintenance and they have a relatively short lifespan. To meet this energy storage challenge, research labs around the world are creating new and innovative ways to store energy from the sun. Let's take a look at one potential solution, storing energy using the chemistry of water. You probably know that the chemical formula for water is H2O. This means that a water molecule is made of two hydrogen atoms bound to one oxygen atom. Interestingly, you can break a water molecule into hydrogen and oxygen using electricity. This process is called electrolysis. To start the process, pure water requires the addition of an electrolyte. When you insert the positive and negative connections from a battery or solar cell into the solution, electricity starts to flow, breaking the water molecules into hydrogen and oxygen. The hydrogen is attracted to the negative terminal. It forms bubbles of hydrogen gas. You can see them forming on this negative wire lead. When the bubbles are large enough, they break free and rise to the surface. Similarly, oxygen is collected at the positive end. Energy is required to break the water molecule apart. Chemists call this an endothermic reaction. It turns out that you can regain the energy that was used in this process by recombining the hydrogen and oxygen atoms. When you do this, energy is released, usually in a flash of light and heat and surprisingly, a water molecule appears, H2O. Chemists call a reaction that releases energy an exothermic reaction. How much energy can be stored in a hydrogen system? Lots. The three main shuttle engines are powered by hydrogen and oxygen. They are contributing over five million newtons of thrust to this launch, a dramatic demonstration of the power in hydrogen. Here is a summary of the chemistry behind using water as a solar energy storage system. We start by using energy from the sun to create electricity. Use that electrical energy to break water into hydrogen and oxygen. Store the hydrogen. And then when you need some energy, allow it to recombine with oxygen. Energy is released and water is created. This 5 watt solar panel is an amorphous silicon panel, a type of photovoltaic panel that is durable and efficient. Even though it is a bit overcast today, there is enough light coming through the thin cloud cover and this panel will produce some current. Back inside I have the positive and negative leads from the panel suspended in water. We can see bubbles rising from the negative terminal. This is hydrogen. Energy from the sun is separating water molecules into hydrogen and oxygen. To collect some of this hydrogen, we can invert a test tube filled with water over the negative lead. Hydrogen bubbles into the tube. It is not necessary to capture the oxygen as the atmosphere has adequate oxygen for reacting with hydrogen. Once we have some hydrogen captured, how do we use it? One of the most innovative ways to use hydrogen involves a device called a fuel cell. Similar to a battery, this device creates electricity, but it does this by combining hydrogen and oxygen. Hydrogen is introduced to one side of the cell, and air, containing oxygen, to the other side of the cell. 
the hydrogen and oxygen combine, releasing energy that is used to create electricity. And the byproduct of this process is water. There are a number of experimental electric vehicles using this fuel cell technology, including this bus. Hydrogen is the fuel moving this large vehicle. Exciting to think that we can use photovoltaic cells sitting in sunlight to produce hydrogen and use that hydrogen to power vehicles. The carbon footprint from this process is very small. There are problems with handling and using hydrogen. It is very flammable. Never experiment with hydrogen. Leave that to the experts. Another issue with hydrogen is storage. Hydrogen is the smallest atom, making it very difficult to contain. Current containment systems require extreme pressures and temperatures, but researchers are developing some creative ways to use chemistry to store this tiny atom. If you are interested in a career in the energy field, there are lots of opportunities to contribute to the development of safe renewable energy resources. For more information about solar energy, visit our website, hyloroad.com. Follow the videos link.